All right, let's start off on number 18 here. So first of all, in this one, we just need to distribute that negative into there. Uh, and then we're just going to combine like terms. This is not multiplying. It's really just uh, combining like terms. Uh, so we usually do the real numbers first. So that's going to be negative 6. And then the imaginary numbers would be plus 6i. And there's our answer. All right, next up, number 28. So these right here are multiplying. So we're going to have to do a full FOIL here. So we'll do first times first. Uh, let's see. 2 thirds times 1 over 6. It looks like we can cross cancel there. And so we get 1 over 9 uh, plus, and then here we have 2 thirds times 24. So we can cross cancel and get an 8 right there. So that's going to be 16i. And then uh, let's see, inner times inner, that's going to be 2i. And then last times last. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to do 12 times 12 times 2. So 144 times 2. Um, will be 288, so that'll be plus 288. Um, so we have to combine like terms. Oh wait, that's 288i squared, excuse me. Uh, so then with the i squared, we should always change that into uh, negative one. So negative one times positive 288 is just negative 288. And so now we do have to add that together with a common denominator. So I am gonna have to multiply that one by nine. Uh, so 288 times nine is going to be uh, 2, 7, and then 2, uh, oh no, it won't, because i got to add the 7. So 72 plus 7 is 79, and then 18 would be 25. So uh, it'll be 1 over 9 minus 2, 5, 9, 2 over 9, which would be negative 2, 5, 9, 1 over 9. And then we'll combine these like terms in the middle, so that'll be plus 18i. All right, next up, number 34. Uh, so this one, uh, we have to get rid of the rad or the i in the denominator by multiplying by the conjugate. Um, so it's going to be 3 minus 4i, and then we have to do that on top and bottom. On bottom here, we can do a f. Um, so I'm going to get 9 minus 16i squared. On top, I do need to do the full FOIL because uh, those are not conjugates. So we get 15 uh, minus 3i and minus uh, 20i and then plus... Uh, 4i squared. Uh, so this is going to turn into negative 4. This will turn into positive 16. But when you have the i squared, it just kind of goes away and turns the number into the opposite. Uh, so now I'll combine like terms here. So I get 11 uh, minus 23i all over 25. Uh, a lot of times they're going to split this up here. I'm um, just dividing both sides by 20 or both terms up top by 25. Um, so that would be technically in the a plus bi form. All right, number 38, we're definitely not allowed to send that negative 1 power into the uh, parentheses um, because the adding or subtracting there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and rewrite it like this because um, that's what the negative 1 power means. And then we'll go ahead and multiply by the conjugate here. And so on bottom, we can still fu. Um, so that's going to be 4 minus 9i squared. On top, we just need to distribute that 1, which is not going to change much. Um, so then we could turn this into a plus 9, so that gives us 2 plus 3i, and if I combine like terms, I get 13. And once again, usually they'll just split that up into two fractions there. All right, 39 and 40, we have to get the i out of the denominator again, but in this case, since we don't have a adding or subtracting in the denominator, we can just get rid of it by multiplying by i. So the denominator becomes 15i squared, the numerator becomes negative 3i plus 5i squared. Um, we can turn our i squareds into negative ones, and that turns into negative five, this turns into negative 15. So to be negative five minus three i, um, all over negative 15, I would then reduce everything. Oh no, we can't reduce everything, excuse me. So you know what, I would divide these individually, so this would become one over three, and then this would become one over five i. All right, next up here, um, Number 44, uh, we're gonna, this fourth power is outside, so I'm gonna send it in like this. Um, and then I know that two to the fourth power is 16. And then um, this I would turn into i squared um, squared, or you could do i squared times i squared either way. Um, and I would do that because I always try to turn this into something to do with i squared since I know that that's negative one. And so negative one squared is obviously positive one, so this just comes out to 16. All right, next up, number 46. So again, on this one, um, I like to turn it into i squared on the inside. 
And on the outside, I would have 501 since those would multiply. So, uh, and once again, I do that because I know I squared is negative 1. And negative 1 to the 501st power would be negative 1, and odd power would just keep that negative. All right, next up here, um, we got to find all solutions. Uh, so we could try to factor this, multiplying the 2 and adding the 2. It, there's no numbers that work. If they tell us that it's going to be imaginary like this, I would, I would guess it's just going to be quadratic formula. So you have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac um, all over 2a. So that'll be negative 2 plus or minus the square root of uh, 4 minus 8 would be negative 4 over 2. And so since the square root of 4 is 2, um, the square root of negative 4 would just be 2i. And then we'll just reduce everything. And so that'll be negative 1 plus or minus i. Alright, next up, number 62. So this one, uh, again, quadratic formula, negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac um, all over 2a. And so that's uh, 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 12 would be negative 3 over 2. Uh, and so I'll just take an i outside, so I'll call it i rad 3 over 2. Um, and I don't see any reducing I can do. Technically, though, to get it in a plus bi form, we should again separate it into two fractions. So very often they will do this. Uh, and just write it like that.